Conventional cancer treatments such as chemo or radiation therapy comes with the unwanted side effects of killing normal cells. Recently, our team of researchers from the Institute for Basic Science has discovered a new approach to selectively target and kill several types of cancer cells while not harming normal cells. This was accomplished by developing a new kind of nanoparticle that ruptures lysosomes of cancer cells. Lysosomes are small sacs filled with a large number of enzymes and acids that work to break down and recycle damaged and unwanted cellular components. In other words, they are simultaneously both a cell's waste container and recycling center. If a cell's lysosomes are somehow ruptured, the toxic contents inside the sac get released, which damages the cellular components and triggers cell death. Since cancer lysosomes are easier to damage than healthy cells lysosomes, scientists have been looking into using this strategy as a promising alternative for targeting cancers that are resistant to conventional treatments. However, only a handful of potential therapeutics can target lysosomes, and most of them lack cancer selectivity. Our scientists solved the selectivity issue by taking advantage of the fact that the tumor microenvironment has a more acidic pH than the normal tissues. The new nanoparticles we tested were gold nanoparticles that were covered with both positive and negative ligands. The positive ligand was trimethyl ammonium chloride, while the negative ligand was 11 mercaptone decanoic acid. The nanoparticles showed the best cancer selectivity when 80% of the surface was covered with the positive ligands, while 20% was covered with the negative ligands. The positive ligands remain positive regardless of the pH, while the negative ligands get protonated and becomes neutral at acidic pH. This charge shifting property allows the nanoparticles to form aggregates under acidic conditions. In theory, the nanoparticles would circulate across the body and eventually are consumed by both cancer cells and normal cells. When non-cancerous cells internalize these nanoparticles, aggregation is limited. The nanoparticles quickly transit through the cells and are excreted without a problem. However, cancer cells cannot excrete these nanoparticles because they form larger clumps under their acidic environment. The nanoparticles steadily accumulate inside the lysosomes of cancer cells and eventually cause them to rupture. Our researchers tested this technology in 13 different cancer cell lines and 4 normal cell lines. The nanoparticles were effective at killing all 13 types of cancer cells, while not harming non-cancerous cells. This study opens up new research directions. The mixed charge strategy could be applied to other types of nanoparticles, such as polymer-based particles, dendromers, or iron oxide nanoparticles. Another important step will be testing the effectiveness of mixed charge nanoparticles against tumors in animal models. This video was provided by the Institute for Basic Science. Please support us by liking our videos and subscribing to our channel. For more information, please visit our homepage, Facebook, or Twitter in the links below.